Yes. Yes, I can. Well, no, that wouldn't be that interesting now, would it? So, you guys actually want to see it happening. And hey, I don't blame you. So I'm going to do multiple tests this video. I'm going to test out my 13 inch and I'm going to be testing out my 15 inch. I'm going to be playing the same videos on YouTube. Uh, there's a channel I found that actually uploads 8K footage. Now the, the camera he uses, I'm more than certain, is the Red Dragon uh, 8K. And that camera is about $50,000. So let's just say, you know, if, you're, if your computer cannot stream 8K, don't be discouraged because I'm not, I don't think we're ever going to be, or at least anytime soon, we're ever going to have 8K native movies. We don't even have 4K native movies. So don't be discouraged. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be running multiple tests against my 13 inch and my 15 inch. And we'll see exactly how much better this new 15 inch is compared to my old 13 inch. Same video, um, I will even prove to you guys that it is playing in 8K. And yeah, the, uh, the results will most definitely surprise you. Hello. Yo, oh yeah, right click on any YouTube video and go down to Stats for Nerds. And it's still not focusing. There you go. Okay, perfect. Go down and uh, this video has an 8K option. Yeah, 4320p, 8K. And the stats for nerds things will change once the video comes up. There you go. So the new resolution is 7680 by 4320 at 24 frames a second. What you guys want to look at is the dropped frames. Now, you, you might be asking yourselves, we didn't even play the video. How did 15 frames went by? Well, it's a 24 frame per second video. Obviously, we did not pause it fast enough because 15 frames already went by. Uh, we have 24 seconds that is uh, so far uh, rendered. So that's, there you go, it's going up a little bit, 27 seconds. So as you can see, it is pretty accurate, 29 seconds. And that's 29 seconds also. So 30 seconds, 31, so it is, it is constant. Uh, I'm gonna let it buffer just a little bit so we can actually have you know more than 30 seconds to look at so I'm just gonna pause the video and uh, you know start it back up whenever it buffers a little bit okay so it got 54 seconds so let's just get it started so you guys will see let me focus over here now this, this video is gorgeous by the way it, it's insane good lord a $50,000 camera shot this. This is incredible, to be honest. I'm gonna play a minute of it and then just skip over to my old MacBook and do a comparison. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait till my favorite part. Hang on. I think it should be coming up. Whatever, I'm just gonna stop at one minute, 10 seconds. As you saw, we missed about 12 frames in the very beginning, which is very normal because your computer is not turbo boosting yet because it's not doing anything. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the more warm your computer is, the better it'll perform, but not too hot. You don't want it to thermal throttle. So now I'm gonna do the same test, same video, same everything on my old MacBook and you guys will see the difference. Okay, my bad. Uh, I clicked play a little bit and it went to a second and I already lost 10 frames. So in one second, I lost about the same amount of frames as a whole minute and 10 seconds on my uh, old, on my, on my new MacBook. So let's just, let's just play a minute and 10 seconds of this. Oh, and that's not even the network. That's actually, that's that's the actual computer trying to, you know, not freak out. It's buffering, as you can see. That's not the connection. It buffered over here. 
I mean, this is, I mean, as you, you can clearly see the difference. <laughs> This is almost like painful to watch, to be honest. Okay, as you guys can see, a minute, 10 seconds on the old MacBook. Out of 1,727 frames, we missed 905 on 8K resolution. Just a comparison, that's my new one. We only missed 12 frames out of 1,696. So, yeah, big difference, big difference. But you know what's not cool? Just powering a 2K display. You know what is cool? Powering a 2K display and a 65 inch LED 4K curved TV uh, from Samsung. And I don't even have the battery plugged in, so I also don't know if that makes a difference. <laughs> so yeah, same resolution. As you can see, the dimensions is a 4K TV and the resolution is an 8K at 24 frames a second. So what do you guys think? How will this perform? Because think about it, this computer has to power its own 2K display. It has to power a 65 inch LED curved 4K display and also at the same time stream 8K video here and 8K video here. So what do you think will happen? Well. Let's find out. I have the volume off on the TV, so in case you're wondering why it's quiet. Now, I don't want you to guys look look at the dropped frames right now, even though if, if you have a pretty good screen computer, you can probably see it. But I'm gonna play about a minute and 10 seconds, and then I'm gonna show you guys how many frames were dropped. Because I'm freaking out right now because this is unreal. This is almost too crazy to be true so a minute and 10 seconds wow this is kind of awkward just complete silence <sighs> man my arm's getting tired as you can see there's my dongle dongle life all right minute 10 seconds You guys are about to be f amazed. All right, right now, guess how many frames were dropped? Just guess. Put your answers in the comment below, okay? And then see if you're right, because I bet you you're not right, okay? Just look, just look at this. Three frames dropped out of 1,697 frames. This literally did better uh, powering this display than it did on its own. And that's what you call turbo boost, guys. Your computer recognizes that it needs more power. So what it, what the, what it, what it does is it turbo boosts and that's why you're getting better frames than you did when you were only powering this own display. So let's just, let's just think about this. A computer that's this thin is streaming an 8K video on both of displays. This is fantastic. So guys, you've seen it for yourself. I mean, I can't make that up, okay? Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is this computer is not underpowered, like many people say. It really is not underpowered, because I, I just did something that most people wouldn't ever do. The reason being, because that 8K video right there, if he, if he had a gigabit connection, and it never went down from a thousand gigabytes, I mean one gigabyte, then that still would have taken him at least a few days to upload. If he had my connection 100 megabytes down or 115 down, it would take him close to a month to upload that to YouTube. I hope you guys did enjoy that. I was surprised. Um, if you guys wanna test this out for yourselves, I will leave a video uh, link in the, in the description and you guys can go check it out. Let me know. Let me know your let me know your computer specs. Let me know what frames were dropped on your computer in a minute and 10 seconds. Don't lie cuz you're only lying to yourself. Uh if you guys don't know how to get that uh the the nerd tool or the geek tool, I don't know what it's called, I forgot. Uh go on it should be on any web browser, but I'm using Chrome. 
Okay, I don't know if that makes a difference, but you go on any video, right click, and it'll say tools for nerds. That's what it's called. It just came to me. It'll say tools for nerds, and it'll pop up a big, you know, graph like you saw. And you'll see exactly what your computer is getting, your network connection, how many seconds you've buffered into it, which is actually pretty helpful. And you'll obviously see how many frames you dropped out of how many frames went by. So, let me know. 